Hi guys, welcome back. Got an unboxing video for you today. This is the Vax Blade Cordless 32 Volt Lithium Iron Cordless Vacuum. Yeah, got this directly from Vax. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to unbox it, show you what the contents of the box are, and then I'll cut the video and I'll do a demonstration using it. I'm also going to compare it against another uh, vacuum, cordless vacuum and just see how, how it performs because I've been using a different make for about a year so all I'm going to do is jump straight in the unboxing and then we'll just see what's in there ok so on the box as you can see got some nice pictures just saying performance, what it does Helix technology it's nice and balanced the weight's actually going to be up here so I don't see how it can be balanced would be better if the weight was down there. The other vacuum I'm going to use, all the weights down here, so the change it to up to the top. So that'll be interesting to see how it, it says it's balanced and lightweight. But we'll see. Uh, it's also got some smart controls on. It's lithium iron, 32 volts, and uh, it's also got an indicator on, so I can show you two-year guarantee from Vax. On this side, that's uh, pretty much the same stuff. Helix technology, exactly the same. A little bit about the batteries, uh, design in the UK, again this is from, uh, that's just my details, you don't need to see that, nothing on there, and that's some more pictures, just explaining and using the car, and also up high for getting into corners and such. Okay, let's get into this then, how do we do this? Okay, so we'll just pop this open, and I think... So this is just turned up literally moments ago, so I thought I'd do the video for you to get away. See what's inside. Like I say, I've been using a different make, the G-Tech Air Am, for about 12 months, 15 months, and it's been brilliant. And I'm interested to see whether this is going to compare. I bought this myself, so it's going to be, obviously it's honest, I bought it out of my own money. Uh, and I'd, I wanted a second one so I can leave one upstairs, one downstairs. It also takes the load off that one vacuum. I have a big Dyson, a 240 volt one, mains one, and it's a really good over. It's heavy, it's no good for the stairs, no good for the car. Uh, and I wanted a battery powered one. So it's been great that the uh, the other one. And I just hope that this one lives up to the same expectations. Okay, so what's in the box? So there's your wand. Everything's packaged nice and neatly and securely. There's no problems there. Aluminium, some nice graphics on there. 32 volts, and there's your clip. Everything looks like it's straightforward. So this is a powered wand. So your, your power, your DC power plugs in and there's also your power at this end if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, so there's that. What I'll do is I'll move this box and then we'll just lay everything out. Yeah. Take a little bit of transformer. Yeah. There's a transformer there. Just put my glasses on so I can see. So writing's really small. Switching adapter, 240 volts, and it's it's less than an amp. 600 milliamps output. 34 volts, 600 milliamps. So it's a long, it's a slow charger. Uh, it take a long time to charge, but that's how you look after your batteries. The faster you charge it the less life you've got, you're going to get out of the batteries. So 32 volts might take me, I don't know, I've never read the instructions, but I prefer it to take a bit longer. There's the bottom part, the brush, looks really nice. Quite a bit of weight of that actually, so that might counteract the other end. Yeah, what's it say on that? Let's have a look. Just giving you a part number. These are all rubberized feet. Yeah, I'm just going to check the video and make sure you can see me okay. Yeah, so you want to be about there. 
because I am doing this just to quick. So these are all rubberized parts. There's a nice little like a felt brush there for getting up uh, dog hairs. And then there's the brush, power brush. Obviously electric motors in there. These are rubberized like I say. Nice snazzy wheels. You've got A and B. So it looks like you take this side cover off to get to, to take the brushes out to clean it. A nice clear front so you can see any, you can see it working. And then you've got a flexible pose part which just flexes left and right. That's quite a nice touch. And then it looks like there's a little light on the front, LED. I take it, you can turn it on and off so you can turn the brushes on and off. Yeah, straightforward, looks decent quality, looks robust. So there's that. Next thing in the box, we do have, like I said, I'm not biased. I've got other Vax products. Uh, I've got a carpet washer, and there's a video uh, you can find on the site for that, and that thing is brilliant. Uh, Bear in mind the one I've the one I've got now is a new model coming out for the wa uh, carpet washer, but the model before that uh, wasn't so good, so they've upped the game. So there's the instructions. Yeah, colour coded, straightforward, simple, plain. Go straight to the point. There's that, and then there's some tools and screws. So there's your, your wall mount, probably on the other unit, so just both screws to the wall, clips in dead simple, there's the screws and your plugs, for, that's for a normal brick wall, drywall plugs you're going to need something else, and then you've got two attachments, brush, nothing, crevice tool, that and that. And the next thing is going to be the main unit. Out. And that's it, what's in the box. Okay. Just trying to find the end. Quite a large unit. Looks quite snazzy, like the colour. So let's have a quick look. Where's wax on there? You've got blade 32 on this side, on the bottom. That's where the attachment fits. Hooks on like that. Let me just pull it off. It can go either way, I think. Yeah, it can go either way. And there's some information on the back. A filter where the air goes in for the motor. You've got your charging socket here. Charging port. That's where the one clips in. And then you've got this, oh, it's spring loaded, so what I would do is make sure you don't just push it because it could crack the engine, just keep all of it and let it come out slowly. Nice rubber seal in there, soft rubber seal, so make sure when you clean it, you get any grit out of these corners, and there's a the filter which you turn, turn to unlock, comes out. Yeah, particle filter and a foam filter, and then to go back in, you just turn it. I've never even had the instructions yet, you shouldn't really need to, and then everything should just clip in. This side, you've got the other filter, and it actually says on there lock, unlock. So you turn it, see that bit there? So you just turn it from there to there, and it comes out. Nice blue there, don't know what that's for, but just for looks. And then obviously you can take this filter out, like that, nothing else in that bit. And you can wash this. And buy, I'll probably buy a, a second one, so while I'm washing one and it's drying, uh, and I find putting the conservatory it dries really quick, and then you can, you can uh, maximise your downtime. And pop that back in. It's pretty straightforward, I mean it's brilliant so far. Uh, it's quite a bit of weight to this. I wasn't expecting it to be that heavy but obviously it's, it's full of batteries this bottom. Uh, there's a lot of them lithium-ion batteries and if you look at the price of this thing, uh, 
the batteries in there, it's going to be at least. Uh, uh, it's going to be at least uh, nine to twelve batteries in there, at a guess. And each battery must cost about five to seven pounds each, just for the for the one battery. So you're paying a lot of money just for the batteries in alone. But the worth it is the lithium ion, and they'll be grade A quality batteries as well. So that's it. What's in the box, guys? Uh, I'll go together. I'll show you this end first. So that is that bit. Goes under there, just clips together like that. Now that's actually got the power running all the way to the end now. And then this bit, I'll just take it back off, pop it in, and just wang that out. And then this bit goes under there like that. And then you've got your powered head. Yeah. Let me just see whether, in fact, what I'll do is because I don't want to move the video. We'll just plug it into here, because we can use it like this. Now, this is for the stairs, what I'm going to use it for, because I wanted one for the stairs. It's a bit weird how you turn it, but... Yeah, it's not bad. So let's just see if it starts up. So there's a bit of charge in it, I shouldn't really do this. Now, lithium ion batteries should be kept at 3.8 volts anyway, so... There's about 50% charging, so it's at the, the what they call storage charge. So what I'll do now is I'll charge it straight up, and then I'll do a, I'll cut the video, bring the other, make a bit of a mess, and then we'll just see how it works compared to the other fact. So that's on. We've got a boost light and a push bar. Off of the light. And you can see straight away the battery levels drop down, so I don't want to uh, drop below that 3.8 volts. So what I would do, if I was you guys, when it gets 50% and it drops down to 25%, don't keep running it, because you'll damage your batteries. And I might say that in the instructions, but I know for 100%, lithium ion batteries don't like to be dropped below 3.8 volts. Yeah. So 3.8 volts. Uh, up to the 32 volts if that makes sense so I would certainly uh, and when you put that on what should go to red you see it's gone to red that's your time to stop it charge it back up again because you start to dip into that 3 volts there for each cell uh, yeah if that makes sense so guys there's also a light on the top a light on the bottom there it just comes apart so that's it for the unboxing what else can I say about it uh, it feels okay and then what I'll do is I'll stop the video right now and I'll get the other uh, other vacuum cleaner out and I'll do a bit of a demonstration so I'm back in a moment guys so this is the blade vax uh, cordless 32 volt what I've done is I've made uh, some dirt, two tracks, which you can't really see, well, it is there, there's, there's loads of dirt, I'll show you in a moment. Uh, and the other I'm going to compare it with is this G-Tech. This is the one I'm going to compare it with, which is 22 volt. I've been using this thing for quite a while now, and it's fantastic. Uh, and the other one's on charge, so what I'm going to do is, it's, it's not fully charged, it's only about 75%, it's good enough to do this test. So, just so you can see, if you have a look, I've made two tracks of muck all the way down there and then down this way. It's the same, pretty much. You can't really, you might not see it on camera as much, but there's dust, uh, sand, a bit of sand in there, and some cereal and general stuff, and I've walked on some of it as well. So, what we're going to do is we'll try out this G Tech first, and we'll use this one for the G Tech. And that one for the uh, the vax, yeah. Okay, so I'll just set the camera up. I'll do halfway, so I'll just one pass. I'm not really doing a massive amount of pass, so just picking it all up there. That's half 
Where? Done. Pop that there. Okay, let's have a little look. As you can see, I don't know whether that's picking it up on the camera or not, but it is clean. There's nothing I can see. Now, I've just done halfway. Pick that up a treat. And what I'll do is, we'll have a look in uh, the filter. Oh, sorry, the, the beer. If I can get to it. I'll do that later. So we'll do this one next. Just a quick demonstration, guys. Okay, get the other over. Yeah. And just before I start, as there it is there, looks really snazzy guys, with a blue. Okay, let's have a go of this. Turn it on. I've only charged it about 75%. And I'll try it on from boost mode. I'll put the bar on. Guys, sorry about that. The button actually, you can catch the button a little bit there. You can see all the muck in there. It's picked everything up, what I expected it to. I was really surprised by the weight. <laughs> it is balanced, so I'll give them that one. It did feel heavy, but when you put the 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 uh, brush on, it actually pulls it forward for you, so it feels really light. Uh, So yeah, it actually feels right. And then it's like just easy to push. That it's where it stops. It's actually quieter than I expected, guys. Uh, I didn't expect it to be that quiet. So lay that down. Again, a negative thing of this, you can't stand it up like you can with like a, a normal vacuum cleaner. That's something which is just the way it is uh, you'd have to lay it down but when you finish you have to put it back on the on the stand so looking at what I've hoovered up or uh, vacuumed up so I keep saying hoover apologize for that just old school and vacuum cleaner I mean before you guys leave comments looks really clean there's a little bit there but I might have just missed that because it's a shorter brush tiny bit but everything else is just the same nice and clean it's, it's really quiet as well, so I'm really surprised by how quiet this thing is. Uh, but compared to it, it's exactly the same. Okay guys, we hope you like this video uh, for the Vax Blade Cordless 32 Volt. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to use it for about maybe three weeks or a month. And then I'll have a proper understanding whether it's any good. Uh, whether I can compare it against uh, this this guy here. This guy is fantastic. Uh, it's only 22 volts, but 22 volts doesn't mean a lot. It's about the power is the amps. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully it'll it'll be the same or even better. But it seems quite good. Um, and then we'll just get back. So I'll try it about a month, and I'll I'll leave in the comments below how I found this thing. Okay, guys, hope you liked this video. If you did. Please like, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers guys.